All right, what's up, guys? Um, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome and thank you guys for joining. So this is Two Minute Tips, um, and today we're going to kick it off with 11 different episodes from Stephen and I's presentation at the Fall Bushcraft Festival. So we talked about off-road vehicle recovery. So we've got 11 different episodes coming up. So make sure you follow, make sure you like, and make sure you subscribe. Um, and we've got more content coming at you. Roll the intro. All right, so today I want to talk a little bit about the high lift jack and some of the accessories that you can pick up with it. You know, the farm jack has been around for hundreds of years. Um, this is just a particular brand that happens to come with a lot of accessories. Um, if you have a farm jack, make sure you take it out there with you because there are a lot of good use cases um, for this tool. So, you know, are you carrying one or will you be carrying one after this video? Comment below and let me know. And uh, let's get to the presentation. We'll see you in the next video. Um, okay, so now I want to talk about the high lift stuff. Um, so the high lift is a pretty versatile tool. It's been around for several hundred years. This is the high lift. Who, who has a high lift? Do we have some out here? Yeah, a few in the audience. Um, so the high lift is great for a lot of different things. So. Uh, basically like it is it comes like this this is a little extra piece but it comes like this um, it's perfect for lifting your vehicle you know a lot of times we'll lift our vehicles and then uh, our jacks don't work to do a simple tire change anymore um, so you have that as an option but there's a lot more things that you can do with this so with a few more accessories um, you can do quite a few things so um, this is the lift mate so this piece simply mounts onto here um, you take the, the bolt out and you mount it on there and it'll simply hook up to your wheel like this and you can literally pick your tire up if you need to put something on it for a recovery. So let me give you an example. Say Steven got his uh, Cooper Discover, Discover tires here <laughs> you know, lodged down in the sand and it's as simple as lifting it up off the ground and putting a traction board under it or or maybe even a stick or a small log or something you found in the woods to get you out of being stuck this is a great tool for that um, this accessory here this is a great investment um, if you have a high lift so this piece mounts on top of your high lift it's got a very simple pin that you can set in there. And what does this allow you to do? So this has got a lot of cool features. I'm gonna tell you the coolest feature that it has, a bottle opener, okay? <laughs> so in an emergency situation, when you get there and you need a beer, <laughs> it actually is, that, that is what that piece is for. Um, but, so you have, this is for lifting, and then this is for clamping, right? So say you have a scenario where two things need to be pulled together away from each other um, you can literally put two things between here and you can clamp them down against each other if you look here this hole here is made for one of those d-rings so when we do the um, high lift recovery the winch demonstration later on you'll see we'll use this hole here to attach a chain going from to either the vehicle or the tree and uh, and then that's what will allow us to these two pieces being pulled together are what is going to basically pull our vehicle out of being stuck. This also has um, a, a quick slot here to put a chain into, right? So if you don't have a D-ring, you can literally slide a, a section of the chain in there. Um, just a reminder, for any accessories that you're using, make sure you're using two times um, the motor vehicle weight of your vehicle for any accessories. And the winch has to be one and a half times your vehicle weight. Um, but any other accessories need to be two times. So whatever chain you pick up, make sure it's strong enough to accommodate two times the vehicle of your weight. So two times the weight of your vehicle. Um, the other part of the kit 
that we'll be using this afternoon are these two bad boys. So this is part of the off-road gear kit. Um, so this all comes together. Um, these two pieces, one of them is going to attach to here, and uh, the other one is going to attach to here. And these two chains are what's going to allow your um, high lift to be converted into a winch. So it's going to give you that ability. Um, and essentially, when you have the chain mounted to your vehicle, these two pieces, if you can imagine your arms climbing a rope, that's essentially what you're going to do. This one's going to hook up, then this one's going to hook up, then this one's going to hook up, and that's how you're going to winch. So it's literally, the winch is literally going to look like you're climbing the chain. So definitely come back to that demonstration later on. And then finally, oh, actually I got two more here. Uh, this piece here, so um, one of the earliest mods that we all typically do to our trucks is uh, rock sliders. Um, so what this will do is this will allow you to use the high lift on the rock slider, which is actually perfect for changing or rotating your tires at the house. Um, but also any, any situation where you need to lift the whole side of your vehicle, this will allow you to do that because it's got this nice curve to it. And then the last, I look, I look, got a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> the last piece is the base. Um, whether or not you have a high lift, I might consider getting this, and here's why. Um, you can use a, like a piece of 2x6 or a piece of 2x10 if you have it, but this is a good platform for any lift. So most of your vehicles are coming with a little bottle jack in them. If you don't have one, bottle jack is definitely worth having. Uh, bottle jack will still sit right in this surface here and it'll give it a wide footprint to spread the load if you ever need to lift something. So this is definitely a good investment too, whether or not you have a high lift. One thing you can do too, um, if you don't have a high lift yet and you do have a lifted vehicle, if you've got that base, that, that's already raising you up a little bit, but you can take a couple 2x4s, duct tape them together, and put them on top of your existing vehicle jack. Because if you lift your vehicle two inches, you now have just made up for that in your exi existing vehicle jack. So something to get you by until you can get a, a different tool.